This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Romans chapter 5, verses 1 to 10, but concentrate on verses 6 through to verse 10. St. Paul is saying in here that Christ died for the ungodly. In other words, people who really didn't deserve anything at all from God. People who had rejected God, who were not interested in God, who had fallen to one side from God. Now, round here in this country, if you ask people what God is like, they will often think of God as being some angry person waiting to hurl thunderbolts at you, and fire and brimstone and punishment and doing nasty things to people who don't quite fit the mould. Well, God died for the ungodly, not for the godly, not for the good people, of whom incidentally there aren't any, but for those people who, as St Paul continues to say, were still sinners. Christ died for them, for us, for me. And St. Paul says, by doing this, God demonstrates his love for you. No, he doesn't wait until you're good and then say, now I love you. While you're bad, while you're a sinful person, while you're ungodly. In verse 8, St. Paul says that God demonstrates, he proves his love towards us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So when you think of Christ dying on the cross, he's not dying for good people. He's dying for people like me. People who need him. Blessed are those who know their need of God. Now, that death brings us purification. That's what all that business really is about, his blood in verses 9 and so on, brings us purification. It reconciles us to God, it justifies us with him. Not because God is demanding blood from somebody, but because blood purifies. The life of Christ, the breath of Christ, in his sacrifice, is what purifies us, rather like in the Old Testament, they took the blood of an animal and sprinkled it round, and wherever the blood landed, that's what purified. That thing was then purified people, or horns, the altar, whatever it may be. So it is with the death, the sacrifice of Christ. It brings purity to us. And you see the direction of flow there. It's coming from God the Holy Trinity to us, not coming from us to him. So far, we still haven't done anything at all. And in fact, if you read Romans, that part of Romans, you find that St. Paul is not really expecting any sort of response, except that we suddenly discover that we have been reconciled to God. We are saved by the resurrection, by his life. And that reconciliation it's a bit like that, going back to that wild animal. When that wild animal and you are sitting on a little hummock together, looking at the sunset, and you're stroking it, and it's purring or panting, or that's whatever that wild animal does, then that animal is completely reconciled to you, and your life and its life become shared. You feel the body warmth of that animal and it of you. And that's what it's like being in Christ, you share his body warmth. You have his life, the life of the Holy Spirit, the life of the Holy Trinity in communion with you. And therefore we have peace with God. Therefore we have his faith. Therefore we have grace. It's the grace that comes from God. Therefore, we can rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. 
In other words, what we're doing is we're sitting with God, nestled up with him. And all of that has come from God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit to us. You know, let's just finish that off by quoting verse 5. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So when you hear preachers talking about the wrath of God, in anything that doesn't feel like love, you know they're wrong. Because that wrath coming from God is his emanating purification of us all. If you're with God, it feels like love. If you're running away from it, it can feel as if it burns. But all of it is love. And all of it comes from a loving God who loves you and who loves you even though you are a sinner. Pray for me. May God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.